what we are doing is that we have developed very specific experimental facilities in order to measure uh, and understand the specific distribution, the specific problems of uh, temperature distribution in our cities. And on the other hand, uh, in order to capture everything that has to do with uh, the impact of the overheating in the city, and I mean, let's say, problems of uh, additional energy spent, problems of deterioration of thermal comfort, problems of increase of outdoor pollution, problems related to health and vulnerability of low-income population. But also, we will work very much on the development of appropriate, let's say, mitigation technologies and mainly development of advanced uh, technologies for the urban environment, including uh, new materials, sophisticated materials, or including some new systems and techniques that may, let's say, contribute to decrease the temperature of our cities. The, the building sector is um, very much related to the local and global climate change. It is very much related to the health of people. It is very much related, let's say, to thermal comfort and the optical comfort of the people. And especially, you know, the very last years, because of the very important uh, global and local climatic change, uh, research has trying really to concentrate on, first of all, the identification of the uh, local and global climatic change, how much our cities uh, are overheated, uh, what is the problem of uh, increased temperatures in the built environment and especially in the urban environment and also how we can really uh, mitigate the problem, how we can counterbalance the existing problem. So my research it has to do with the development of appropriate technologies in order to counterbalance the urban overheating.